Hey everybody, Tom here from Envoy B2B. Today I want to give you some tips or advice on how to get ready to run a digital sell-in. Now this is a really hot topic right now for obvious reasons, so we just want to share some of our tips. Now this is assuming that you have a current B2B in place. If you don't, um, we'd highly recommend that. That's just going to be a tool that's going to help you really run this digital sell-in experience um, as opposed to using Excel, email, workbooks. Um, it's just not going to be the same experience without a B2B. So keeping that in mind, the first tip is repurpose, create, and organize your digital content. Now, what I mean by that is most likely your current assets, if you're a brand that doesn't have a B2B or if you went to a lot of trade shows, um, your current marketing materials for wholesale most likely are meant to be printed. Maybe you send those through email, but most likely you're printing those out, you're showing those alongside of maybe a product demonstration in person. Now, when you move to a fully digital world or you offer a digital experience, those assets need to be a little bit different. Keep in mind that the retailer might not have that physical product in front of them. So think of things like videos, um, anima animations, interactive technology, anything that you can do to work well in a digital experience for that retailer to learn about that product is going to be super useful. So repurpose those assets to work well in a digital frame. The second thing is get your retailers ready. Now, this is with anything new. So if you're rolling out a new system, um, anything new that a retailer has to think about, you really should prepare them and communicate beforehand. So communicate what this change is going to be, communicate how it's going to be used, when it's going to happen. Now that should be through email, that should be by way of your reps notifying them. Um, and you should give them opportunities to learn how to do this before you actually launch it. So whether that's you know trainings that you host, whether that's documentation that you have, um, you should make sure that retailers are truly ready for this because if they're not, um, they're going to have a little bit of a guard up when you launch this because they won't know how to use it quite yet. And in that, you know, make sure that they also have ways to ask questions and solicit feedback so that next time it can be even better. The third thing on the list, the third tip and the final one is train your sales staff. Now, this may seem very obvious, but it's something that um, a lot of brands just don't do enough. And that is make sure that your reps know how to use the system, but also make sure they know how their retailers are supposed to use the system. Now, something you know that we see in all of our research, and you can find this on our website, is that retailers rely heavily on their sales reps when they have questions. So what's going to happen is you're going to launch this, and as soon as a retailer has a question, they're going to email or call their sales rep and ask that question. Now, if the rep hasn't fully adopted this or they don't know how to use it, um, chances are that's going to trickle down to the retailer and they're just not going to use it as well. So make sure that the reps know how to use the tools available to them, know how to use it to their advantage, and also know how the retailer should be using this platform because that's ultimately going to lead to you, know, you as a brand having success with both your reps and your retailers and having a successful sell-in um, in this new digital way. So those are just a few tips. Um, if you have questions about those, if you want to talk about more tips or really see how we've been helping brands, you can always email us at sales at envoyb2b.com. Thanks and good luck.